What's up guys, it's March 1st, 2024. We had a bull trend day to kick off the month and the weekend, that was pretty cool. We've been trending higher since yesterday, around 8.40 PST. Bears tried to make a few legs lower, but failed at the EMA. So we had a leg up, pull back into the EMA, and now we're trending higher. Pretty cool. Maybe this could be a leg one, leg two move, just off the top. Oh yeah, that was met. Anyways, let's start off with bar one. That's yesterday, this is today. Um, so just so you guys can see what I'm looking at. This orange line is yesterday's high. This faded orange line is yesterday's 50% level. And this orange line is yesterday's low. This blue line is the breakout of this, so it's 1R. It's like that, it's 1R. Oh yeah, okay, it's the same thing. <laughs> and then this blue line is a breakout if the bears go lower. If the bears, if the bulls would break out, I'd look for like, you know, 50% here. I won't just go straight up, but just to help me, uh, it's easier just to pull like this. Now, you know, for the next day I can go like that, it's done. Instead of having to adjust every day. And it gives me more levels with less work. So yeah, so we broke out of yesterday's high very quickly in the day. Well, let me go over bar one, here we go. <clears throat> These purple lines are last week's high. So yeah, see the purple line, last week's high, last week's 50%, last week's low. Blue line is the breakout, so we could be breaking out last week's range, and you guys get it. So bar one, continuation. It's a gap up with continuation, and then bears get a pull back into the EMA. There's um the the bear bars are pretty shallow. This is, this looks like a two bar reversal, and they try and close the gap and fail. So right away we have one gap from the open, and for a trending environment we want to see two gaps from the open. Pretty with put in like within the first hour, hour and a half I think I can't remember the exact number. This is a gap up bull flag here, and it breaks out to the upside. We have a retest of yesterday's high, and then the market just trends higher in a small pullback bull trend. It's in small pullback bull trends, we don't really count legs. Uh, well, we do count legs. That doesn't mean we ignore it. We just, but our expectations are a little bit different, right? Like here we have a three legs in a range, and it sold off. These are lower highs. Here we have a leg one, leg two, leg three. But then this is a range, and it breaks out again like one, you know, full back, and then it gets kind of parabolic. Here's a three pushes up, micro three pushes up. There's no three pushes up. So first six bars of the day are, is more of like just to pull back into the EMA. There's two bull trend bars and four bear bars. And then bar seven, I think is what traps a lot of people because this was a news bar that raced up and then came down and maybe people got short. Cause bar eight, oh, had like maybe a small gap or a one tick gap where it opened up right away and it kind of surged trapping everyone who market ordered in here they these people never got to get out the markets so these traders who go short here are, maybe the traders who go on short on bar five get out on bar six but the traders who go out short on bar seven get trapped unless they start scaling in aggressively so if you have a breakout bar against you i think it's better to just get out that's what i'm trying to practice um so we have our breakout follow through or bulls are closing above the EMA and now we're starting to close above yesterday's high so we're bullish in my opinion and we're trading above the higher time frame EMA and then bulls get another micro channel here excuse me micro channel here and they have a bullish breakout that ends up being a wedge bottom bull flag it so we have a breakout flag here do you see this micro channel this is what I'm looking at this is a micro channel ding dong ding right there I don't mean to extend those lines out, but micro channel breakout, it fails, pull back into the EMA, and that's the first touch of the EMA since around seven o'clock. So that's eight thirty, so it's been about an hour and a half. Bulls put in a higher low here. And this is a range bound environment. So if we think of a market set from the market cycle perspective, it's a range, trend, channel, range, excuse me, range, <laughs> excuse me, range breakout so yeah the market cycle happens in all time frames it's fractal and we can see that here so look range breakout 
range breakout leg one leg two leg three channel range so we can see the market cycle is resetting within just the five minute chart alone and then if we take the market cycle from a higher time frame this is a breakout as well and this is the start of a new market cycle when we break out we break out we pull back that initiates the channel phase and then we channel for a few legs and then we go range bound and then the market decides again here's the breakout pullback spike and channel and then the market starts to channel for the rest of the day <clears throat> here's a bull flag I was I was in this bull flag I was scaling in a little bit that was nice it's starting to pour where I'm at I like the rain though I got some stuff I gotta do I like when it rains here's another bull flag okay let me do it from the beginning because I kind of I'm jumping around now so first six bar I'm gonna do first six bars talk about two legs and then go really quick over the market cycle because I already just did that so first six bars of the day gap up continuation pull back into the EMA get trapped and then they go this is kind of how the, the day ended too at highs you know pull back and the highs that's the first 10 bars though so the first six bars of the day a little more bullish pressure but there's a pullback in it first breakout from the low of bar 8 higher bar 12 pull back around here you can maybe go there you can go here wherever you'd like and that was met you can see profit taken right there and that also gives us I think this was also another strong leg for its own pullback and that was also met here is a channel do you guys see that channel let me just draw like this this is a bear flag I mean excuse me this is a bull flag by every possible way well this this never mind, never mind. so bulls get bears get leg one two and three or it could be leg one two and three that's a wedge bottom bull flag off the EMA strong reversal this is an outside bar it came down came up and it kind of closed at its high it's a two bar reversal on 10 minute already on the five minutes two bar reversal on the 10 minute it's just a doji the reverse bar off the EMA so that's pretty good for the bulls and I think that's good for leg two um when we're breaking out I always have like my target would be a measured move of the range so this was yesterday's range and I had this blue line already drawn because of the measured move the fib levels the market goes range bound right here and then we get another breakout that's bad we could do it like this if you'd like bull bar to bull bar and that is met or if you want to keep going with the legs here's a leg one leg two leg one leg two that was super sloppy there we go that's also met you see how profit taking is happening at these things here's another form of a bull flag it's pretty bad that has more sideways Probably this bull flag since this is an opposite bar oh wait where am I looking oh yeah this is a this could be one channel honestly but there's a channel there's a micro channel trend line breaks so that's a bull flag on a different time frame and then this bull flag is pretty sideways you can see how it starts to step instead of in the beginning it was surging now it's going like a little up more sideways a little up more sideways so the bull trend is getting weaker later in the day haven't touched the EMA for a long time also we can point out that the pullbacks get deeper on each one look two bars three bars or this can be one full pullback if you'd like breakout pullback very shallow shallow pull pullback shallow pull pullback shallow pull and then it just pulls back so the pullbacks are getting deeper later in the trend where are we in the market cycle overall in the five minute time frame we are breaking out and a breakout resets the market cycle <clears throat> and we also went over this micro micro <laughs> micro what am i trying to say right now i'm so tired micro market cycle which <laughs> breakout you know range breakout range channel breakout so we went over that I want to draw the chart with you guys. This is the daily. This is the 45 minute. <clears throat> I'm keeping the trend line up here because it's being respected, which is pretty cool. So the way I like to, I'm going to keep this target here as a, so I'm going to go like this, right? Okay. And then I'm going to write on it. Breakout and then what's the day? Three, one. 
something like that. I don't really know if that's gonna stick, but and then I'm just gonna go like this weekly, and then I'm gonna change it here just so we can have that stays there. And that was this week's range, roughly. I usually go back on Sunday and get it to the tick. Save, and then I'm gonna copy and paste it. I don't even know if you guys wanna see how I do this, honestly. Let me know if you guys care to see how I'm doing this. If not, it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll do it on this one. So I delete the old purple line. That's the new, so this is this week's levels painted on the chart, see? Very close to the last week's high. Then I'll grab this. I mean today's high. Draw that there. Draw that there. Maybe uh, that line. That line should be on this right here. So that'll go like that. And then bang. So that's the high of yesterday, which we'll, I'm talking about because you guys are seeing it's Monday. So this is Friday's high. Low 50%. Maybe we get a 50% pullback. It'll be cool. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for the support. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are using your stop loss. Keep studying. We are still in a straight up bull trend. We're striking the trend line. Have a good weekend. Hope you guys had a good weekend. I am super tired. I'm going to take a nap. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.